we anticipated uh, probably some more pretty terrific baseball. We finally, with this game, get a look at the top seed in America East. That, of course, the uh, Bearcats of Binghamton. Binghamton University, you see the 19-5 and record in America East play. And taking on Albany, the Great Danes, staying in the winner's bracket by virtue of an 8-5 victory over UMBC in the first game of yesterday's triple header. C yesterday afternoon. The 0-2 pitch struck him out on three. Early win, get the bye if you can because of a great regular season. Binghamton did both, and they've got their ace with two strikeouts to start this game as on top of the first. And he's got it. Three strikeouts, all swinging. Miller, Todd, and now Sacks. Who goes down? Utility guy in America East, all conference first team utility player. Catching today as the first pitch glances off the glove of Harasta. Scampering in from third is Kroiak to give Binghamton a 1 0 lead. Now Steiner with a 3 0, and that one gets away. And that will score Shands. It's also ball four, so Posovic takes first base. 2 0 Binghamton. The 0 1. Ground ball to third, another opportunity for Shands. This one he fields cleanly, goes to Gamash for one, on to first double play. Well, no, I didn't mean that it was a friendly rival, but the rivalry develops. And the 2 2's a line drive down the right field line for McGee. He's thinking double as the ball gets by Sachs. McGee now thinking about three, and he's going to get there. Sliding in safely, Chris McGee continues his success against Albany pitching. Aided it's a difficult one. Here's Daniel Franchi, number nine hitter. First pitch swinging, line drive, base hit, left field, RBI. McGee scores, Franchi's eighth RBI of the season. And Binghamton with back-to-back -back hits to be uh, here in the second inning with one out to up their lead to 3-0. Strikes out Miller for the second time. Fastball that tailed away. Runners take their leads off second and third. The one, two, got him swinging as he goes off speed. Todd fans for the second time. Would have chosen, or you chose. One ball, two strike pitch, hit on the ground, wide of the mound, fielded by the second baseman. Gamash tags the man, throws on a first for the double play. On a run. Spedafino deals, Kroiak bounces the ball between short and third on in the left field. That's a base hit, that'll bring in a run. Stopping at second base is Franchi, crossing the plate was McGee. An RBI single for Kroiak, and it is a 4 nothing lead for Binghamton. Now, you're Albany. This is your second pitch. First one saying, absolutely. <laughs> I like quick game. <laughs> pitch to the plate. Slider swung on and missed. He struck him out. That is the sixth strikeout in the ball game. Runner going from first to second. Sees third base is open. Pitch to the plate. Pop fly short center field. Coming on the center field. Miller on the run. He's not going to get there. Drops in for a means hit. Scoring from third base is Skidmore on at first with the RBI single on the little pop up into short center field is Jason Agresti. Now a few things for a reason. Two and two, the count, the pitch by Bunel. Breaking ball catches the inside corner. That is strike three called. Another one strike pitch by Bunel. That's hit hard. Diving stop by the shortstop. Rufo going to his right. Up, oh, throwing and got him at first base. Terrific play by Paul Rufo. Go. Martinez, why do we need a name? Are we not educated baseball fans? There's strike three after missing the outside. Here's the pitch, and this one does get away. So Balbeer is just having all kinds of difficulty locating this wild pitch, his third of the inning. Gamash scores. Reed Gamash went to the 1-1. Liner caught, throw to first, double play. Reed Gamash turns it. Third double play turned by the Binghamton defense. This here well, has his sign. Here's the 1-2 pitch. Swing and a miss. Ninth strikeout for Mike Bunel, so he ends his afternoon with an exclamation point strikeout. The 3 2. Got him swinging. So, one after with a fastball about 89 miles per hour, and Donati can't catch up to it. There's the first out here in the ninth. From the belt, Hardy's 0 2. Ball game. Got him with a high fastball. Hardy closes the door. Albany puts together a spirited ninth inning, scoring three times. But in the end, you're fine. As Mike Bunel earns the victory, Bunel improving to eight and three by going eight scoreless innings, struck out nine, scattered five hits, walked a couple, and the loser. He, he was terrific. He was the story of the game.